Hey, what's up, guys? It's Ty from AGI Pro DJ. Today we're checking out the Pioneer SVM 1000, and we're going to give you a little overview today on the SVM 1000, Pioneer's flagship sound video mixer. We're going to give you an overview of the user interface, this 11-inch touchscreen of beauty. And uh, Jason, if you want to come around here with the camera, we'll go ahead and show everybody what this thing's all about. VJs, this is your command center. Separated into two sections, this lower section gives you a visual representation of your crossfader. You can transform tap back and forth between sources. It gives you previews for all four of the channels, one, two, three, and four. And really cool thing about the SPM 1000 is these upfaders are not only audio, as you can hear, but the video went away too. They're also a video game. So you can trim your audio back and leave your video source up. You can still fade it with the updater, and there's a visual representation of that there. Pretty cool. You have six different options for wipes with the SM1000. You can do a fade in between, and that's just a fade. You can see up here, this is what's going out to my screens, my master preview. So you can do a casual fade back and forth. You can do a wipe. Just a hard switch to cut back and forth, like a transform cut. You can chroma colors in, kind of chromas in and out. You can chroma the, chroma the gamma channel, and then you can do it by luminance as well. So you can tell it takes the bright spot and then brings it all the way. In. So pretty cool. That's the lower section of the user interface on the SVM 1000. We move up here higher. I try to go in here again. This is where it all happens. This is where you make the magic. This is the effects section of the SVM 1000. And there's a couple different ways you can have this set up. This is the, uh, the way it comes shipped default. It gives you a visual representation of the effect. And these blue bars here show you when your effect is being applied. So if I press the effect button, and I've got, turn the flanger on, telling me that the flanger is engaged and it's showing me a representation, these flare lines of what that looks like. I'll switch this back to the other mode. So This gives you a master output. This is what's going out to your projector and your screens and your TV in the club. And you can turn that effect off. Really cool thing here is you can see this is video, A for audio, or AB for audio and video. So now it's going to show me, this is what it looks like with my effects applied, but you can see up here on the master window, there's no effect being sent out to my screen. If I press effect, now it's going to show me that that effect is actually indeed being sent out to my master. Both audio and video are being affected. So let's just say I wanted to apply a flanger effect, you set it for audio only. My video is untouched, and the video, and it's being affected. I can go video only, no effect being applied. But the effect is being, or the video is being affected. And then you can do a mixture of the two. Another little uh, track going here. Besides the effects section, it gives you um, the ability you can modify, very similar to a DJM 800, um, you can chop up your effects. So let's say I wanted to do an echo fade, it's already auto, or I could tap this out. I'll do a one beat echo fade. It echoes both your audio and your video because you have the AV engaged here as well. Pretty cool. Um, 12 effects built into this in the beat section. And you can see there's three different sections here. There's beat, touch, and text. And these are the three main effects that you can apply to your video mix with the SPM 1000. Beat effects are, again, just like they sound, they're all beat generated, they're all timed to the beat. So I can do an echo fade, and it's to the beat. I can do a flanger. I could engage the roll, which is the Pioneer's built-in sampler. We could do a two-beat roll. So that's a preview of the beat effects. There's touch effects, which are very cool. And there's again 12 of those. And this section of the mixer turns into Think of Chaos Pad. So
So that's previewing me. I can check out, see that's what it's gonna look like when I send it out to my screen. Turn my effect on. And let's just say I wanna change the video. I'm not gonna affect my audio right now. You can see up here in your master, that's what's going out to the projectors in your bar. You can change the depth on it. You can get pretty crazy with it. Uh, there's a zoom function, so you can, you can zoom in on a video, you can tap that in and out. It's kind of a kaleidoscope feature, again, it's all touch affected. It's kind of a lens that you can go with the lens over the top. Cube's kind of cool. This projects your video onto a shape, and you can change that shape. Triangle, pentagon, and you can move that around with your finger. You can also zoom that in or zoom it out. Lots of different shapes there. Twisting effect. I'm controlling that with my finger. And all the way up, it's kind of folding in on itself as well. Spotlight. And it kind of puts these little disco spotlights over the top of your mix as well. Last section up here is the text section. As you can see here, I've got an effect where I've gone to the text generator, pressing text edit. I've spelled out AGIProDJ.com, your favorite video, uh, favorite DJ shop. Go back out here, and now I've got this. I can pick six different ways to send this text out to my screen. I can preview them all from here. Again, I'm still set on video. Send that out, and now that's what's going out to my screen. Let's say you've got a... Uh, something going on in your stage or whatnot, check it out. There's all kinds of stuff built into it. You can go through and you can edit these very simply. This one's just the number four. Not a big deal. You go through, you press text edit, and I can change this to say one of our favorite forums online. Check it out, pretty cool. So that's the, that's the text effect. Um, like I showed you before, there's also, and I hope I get this to engage correctly, the, vis the visualizer. And this is just, again, let's say you're playing a track. No video for that track, it's got a visualizer that you can uh, put that over the top of your track. You got something on your screen so it's not just sitting there empty doing nothing. So this is the command center. This is the main section of the SVM 1000. There's again a utility screen where you can go through you can modify the MIDI settings. This is a full MIDI mixer. You can modify your uh, outputs as well as your preview channels. And then again, if you're you know, in the UK and it's got you know full support for all around the world. That's the utility screen. And again, like there's different setups for the main screen. Uh, I can use the channel selector here to select which channel I'm going to affect. Or I can just channel my master. And um, that's pretty much the long and short of it. That is the... Uh, the main UI, the main interface for the SVM 1000, Pioneer's flagship audio video mixer. Uh, this thing, VJ's, is the mixer to have. Uh, my name's Ty from AGI Pro DJ. Thanks for checking us out today. If you have any questions, please give me a call, 866-776-6499. You can email me, sales at agiprodj.com, or give us an instant message on our website. Uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions for these if you got. Uh, if you want pictures, you want some more video, just let us know and we'd be happy to answer any questions for you. Thanks again for checking us out. For more information on the products covered in today's session, please visit our website at www.agiprodj.com. Check it out. Agiprodj.com.